Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have an actual um, community contributor, con official content creator, I guess, um, of World of Tanks. It is Benso uh, with the CC over here. Um, in the tier 10, French connectors vehicle medium tank. It is the Amex 30B. Um, so Benso is going to go with Bond Vents, Bond Rammer, Bond Vert Stamps with a gun rammer directive as well, you know, to get get even better DPM. Um, so why do you want better DPM? Oh my goodness, the replay is fucked, the turret is stuck. <laughs> um, but yeah. Why do you want to have a lot of DPM? Well, because this vehicle is known for its DPM, right? This is the tier 10 medium with the highest DPM inside the game. Um, so yes, 30B, you probably never heard of this vehicle before, right, because it's a connectors vehicle. It was a tech tree vehicle back in the day, like years and years ago, until Wargaming decided that they want to make the uh, the tech tree a bit easier, I guess, for the new players to understand. So they removed a bunch of vehicles from all tiers to make it kind of more streamlined, I guess, uh, to know exactly which vehicle you get and when. And that's why these vehicles, my goodness, can you go the shot out one into the, there we go, Count Panzer. Um, that's why you don't see a lot of those vehicles on the battlefield. This is actually, I believe, the second uh, least played. Oh, he's a Marekt. Oh, okay. Thought maybe we can get a, a blown head at the start. Uh, but these vehicles are not really played often because they connect as vehicles, not in the tech tree. You need to go into a different, like, separate section just to be able to buy those vehicles and yeah when you do that these vehicles will not be played often this is the second uh, least played i believe tech tree or connectors vehicle uh, medium tank at tier 10 only above the k91 which surprisingly is a tech tree vehicle so it's, it's looking like a tech tree vehicle is the least played vehicle anyway right i'm going on about collectors vehicles and games made and stuff Benzo already lost a lot of HP, 1130-ish HP already lost over here. Unfortunately, trying to go after those people advancing towards that northwestern corner. And they are sending a lot of vehicles over here. A lot of vehicles are sent towards this northwestern corner. So what is Benzo going to do? Actually going to fall back. Um, I believe that is what they need to do. They are outnumbered by quite a bit. What is it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 enemy vehicles against 3 ally vehicles this is not looking good this is not looking nice my goodness Benza did set on fire uh, the camp panzer did do some damage over there but uh, I mean the enemy team is just overwhelming Benza's team at the moment and uh, yeah when everyone is towards the east sitting or maybe towards the southeast trying to, to advance slowly but surely it is not going to work. They need to be aggressive. Need to get the shots out. There we go. Benzo putting one. And it's not penetrating the Neppard one. Not hitting the armor. I guess it just hit the tracks or something. I have no idea what just happened there. Um, but yeah, the Neppard did not get penetrated. And it's now 5 1 in favor of the enemy team. This is not looking good. This is not looking good. We're going with those hit rounds through the Hori 3, finishing off the tier 10 Japanese tank destroyer. So the heat rounds over here are not the best. I mean, they're okay, right? 300 millimeters of penetration is definitely not bad, but they are better. They are better um, penetration values, and the APCR 248 definitely underwhelming for tier 10. Which I guess this is another reason why this vehicle is not played as often. Like it's it's very similar to the Leopard in a lot of aspects, but the Leopard is just slightly better in almost all of them, right? So why should you go with? A collector's vehicle that is basically a, a worse Leopard 1 when you can just go with the Leopard 1, right? Unless you really want to play the French vehicles, and then you can go with this one, of course. But that doesn't mean this vehicle is bad. You know, like I said, the amazing DPM. Um, this is probably one of the only parts where it's better than the Leopard 1. That and the armor, right? The Leopard's armor is just trash. This vehicle has bad armor, but the turret is okay. It can bounce a few shells, but as you can see, we have the huge, huge cupola towards the right side um, of the turret there, which will be penetrated by everything. Also, you have bad side armor that can be overmatched, so a lot of things to watch out for. But just look at that rate of fire. Just look at that DPM. 
Just look at the DPM, one into the camp panzer shutting it down, up to 4,000 damage in this battle so far. I'd actually fire APCR against the Leopard one over here just to get the better shell velocity. You don't want to get the Leopard to, to run away over here. You want to put APCR rounds into the lightly armoured vehicles, then put the heat rounds into the heavily armoured vehicles. Also, I forgot to say about the... Uh, the HE, right, 53mm penetration, 480 damage, nothing impressive, um, I, I don't believe you should be using HE very often with this vehicle, it's not kind of like a Leopard's HE, right, or a Centurion Action 10's Hesh, um, very underwhelming compared to those vehicles, but this is just exactly how I want to play except for the bounce ricochet over here, which is kind of strange that you ricochet with the heat round, but I guess even that is possible, but you go into the bush, you spawn the vehicles, you fall back behind the bush, you shoot to not get spotted. And this is just like World of Tanks, ABC. This is exactly how you want to play this game. And Benz is just playing this one to perfection. So for 5,000 damage, 3 kills so far, stopping the enemy's advance. Now going after uh, the tier 10 German, German, sorry, French, my goodness, tank destroyer. <clears throat> the premium version, actually, the Fosch 155, um, not the regular tank tree version, the Fosch B. Fosch 155 is a very dangerous vehicle that could actually one-shot Benzo, but luckily the Panzer E100 shuts down the Fosch over there. It's still a pretty close game. I mean, it, it was very one-sided up until the Benzo got into this lovely defensive position, right? Okay, unfortunately that southeastern corner is falling. They did try to go forwards, they did try to go after the enemy team, but they did not succeed. The enemy team did fall back in time to shut them all down. Whew, my goodness, getting spotted by the 60 You don't want to get it by the 60 but actually not spotted by the 60 team. This is ridiculous. What? What? It is at the end edge of the uh, the view range. So I guess I guess that 60 TP just doesn't have the best view range over here. The 30 B doesn't have the best of camos, um, but it's definitely not the worst. With 15 15.3, if I'm not mistaken, uh, base camp rating. So I mean, it, it's it's okay, right? Getting spotted and now that's not good. The M5Y most likely spotted. Benson over here, that 60 TP can actually one shot. Benson with a slight high roll has 750 alpha damage, and Benson is on 771. Definitely need to watch out from that. A very dangerous Polish heavy tank, but there we go. It's going forwards. It is time to go forth, shoot, and fall back one heat round into the 60 TP. Unluckily, um, low rolling over there. This vehicle does have an average damage of 390. If anyone was wondering, right? Ooh, my goodness, this is non-stop action over here. 10, 9 in favor of the enemy team. The enemy team also has a very large HP advantage over here. But, I mean, some vehicles are outside of the render range, so you never know. You never know what the actual values are until they reach the render range. But, unfortunately, the SCB-1 shuts down the Yank Panzer E-101 of uh, the Yank Panzer E-100. It's like the Runner Platoon with the FE-45 that got shot down earlier. But this is not looking good down by two vehicles and kind of three, right? This side has an artillery, the other side doesn't have an artillery. But there's a the TVP going forwards against the Yankpanzi 100. Can they shut down the TVP? There we go, the SDRV with a lovely save over there, keeping the Yankpanzi inside the battle. The 261 falls and it's now a 5v3 in favor of the enemy team, still by a, up by a lot of HP. <laughs> the SDRV falls as well. Disaster, my goodness, what are we going to do here? The level spot towards the west, but there's no shot. And now it is a 1v5 in the corner, back against the wall. Benzo versus five vehicles on the enemy team. They're pretty healthy vehicles as well. The SV1 is a two shot. Can we get the shot? And it just hits the track. This is where APCR wants to go. This is where APCR wants to be fired, you know, to be able to overmatch the side of the STB1, which has only 30 millimeters of side armor but good marksmanship will work as well shutting down the stb1 the m5y is a two shot as well the 60 tp is very healthy though very healthy 60 tp is look at the lamp wants a one can put one into the lamp one there it is there it is shutting down the dangerous tier 10 kind of like the the better version of the 30b right oh goodness luckily the m5y misses putting one to the ground unfortunately missing the ground of the m5y need to watch out over here you do not want to get hit by this m5y which actually has really decent dpm as well this vehicle has a lovely DPM. Um, if I'm not mistaken, can you put one? Yes, there we go. Unfortunately, getting penned in the Capola, most likely by the M5Y. The 60 TP behind the M5Y. Need to finish off this tier 10 American Yo Tank, finishing him off. Lovely marksmanship over there, but now it's a 1v2 
from a 1v5 Benson with 6 kills over here. A 60 TP on 2000 HP, that means we need 5 shots, basically. Something like that, maybe even more. Maybe even more than 5 shots, depends on the rolls that we get. And then there's a, a full health FV to 15B183, the tank with the highest alpha damage inside the game, if, if they fire their gold rounds. So Bensu against two very dangerous, very large caliber guns. Um, so if they do fire AP, they can actually overmatch the side of Bensu's vehicle. So do need to watch out for that. If I was the FE, I would switch to AP over here. Who am I kidding? I would have fired gold to have fun. <laughs> but yeah, Bensu against those two vehicles, trying to go around towards that eastern corner. Maybe see if we can find the FE. There's the FE, still very healthy as well. Not full health. Not full health, but very healthy on 1,000. 200 and something HP, now down to a two shot on 786 hit points. My goodness, is it a two shot? If we get slightly higher rolls, right? Slightly higher rolls. The average damage of two shots is 780. So we do need the extra 6 HP somehow. Benzo making a look at this, they're going towards the left, actually turning towards the right now. Catching the FE in the backside, actually missing the shot into the FE. Disaster, my goodness, and the 60 TP misses a lot as well. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. This is crazy. Can you go into the top bar? There we go, the weak spot of the FE that actually misses. And that means that you can go forwards against the FE, actually high rolling that first shot, switching to APCR, saving those heat rounds for the 60 TP. Absolutely delicious stuff. My goodness. My goodness, the FE just decided to raise the gun and say, nope. I'm done. Avoid the 60 TP once more. Luckily, unspotted now. The 60 TP doesn't know what to do. But we want the 160 TP. Lovely high run over there. That's exactly what we need. Exactly what we need. But we still need four shells into that 60 TP to finish them off. Up to seven kills and 9,500 damage so far. Absolutely amazing stuff by Benzo in this round. Okay, this is bad though. 60 TP is going down. 60 TP is going after us. Oh no, going all in against the 60 TP. Wait, what? I thought the 60 TP would already be spotted by now. Okay, this is this is scary. Where's the 60 TP? Is the 60 TP just waiting? Lurking? Ambushing? Where do you think that tier 10 Polish heavy went to? Okay, Benzo going forwards. We do not want to draw. We want the win. We want the Colonel Banos medal. We want the Radley Walters. We want the 10k damage. My goodness, this is this is so stressful. This is so stressful. The CCTP can be anywhere, right? Can be towards the east. Can actually go towards the west once again. Where is the 60TP? There's the 60 TP just spotted. Just spotted now outside of the view range. That means we can fire with just like no fear of getting spotted, right? One into the 60 TP. Can we get another one in? And Foshi goes high into the turret. No, and the 60 TP disappears. There's the 60 TP once again, though. Switching to a heat round. Putting one into the side of the 60 TP, and now it's a two shot. It's definitely a two shot unless we get very low rolls over here. Amazing um, damage rolls, by the way, in the past few shots, as you can see. High roll, high roll. Finishing uh, the kill shot. High roll, high roll, high roll. Just amazing stuff. I mean, when RNG loves you, I guess RNG just loves you. Amazing stuff by Benzo there. Just the positioning, moving around all the time, putting one to the side. There we go. 60 TP on 300 HP. It's a one shot versus one shot over here. Two minutes left on this battle. Benzo versus 60 TP. Who is going to emerge victorious over here? Benzo going forwards. We actually heard a shot by the 60 TP. That was weird. That was weird. Where do you think that 60 TP tried to blind fight to? I have no idea. I don't even know. My goodness, from sitting in that northeastern corner, back against the wall, now to becoming the, uh, the hunter. To becoming the hunter of the 60 TP, trying to get behind the Polish tier 10 heavy tank. Do need to watch out that you can't get spotted. There we go, the 60 TP is spotted. One into the backside to win the battle, and yes. <laughs> Absolutely delicious stuff by Benzo over here. Just amazing. Absolutely amazing stuff. Yeah, in the Amex 30B, which is, like I said, the vehicle with the highest DPM at tier 10, but is one of the least played vehicles. So maybe, maybe we can get some more people to play this vehicle now, right? After seeing such an amazing performance. Eight kills of Randley Walters, 11,000. 
damage done over here. That is just insane. Insane amounts of damage by Bensu. And just lovely plays, right? Going towards the west at first, actually getting caught out, right? The game did not start as planned, losing a lot of HP and then having to fall back. But then when falling back, going into the right positions to get shots and then towards the northeastern corner, going the bush, shooting. It's just amazing stuff. Uh, by Benzo over here, using the mechanics as you should be using them. Did I say go into the bush and shoot? My goodness. Go into the bush spot, pull back and shoot. Yes, that is how you do it, right? <laughs> Almost confused uh, everyone watching. No, you should not fire from uh, from inside the bush. You should fall back behind the bush and fire, silly bearfish. Um, but yeah, going after the FV's Capola. Switching to the APCR to have the heat against the 60 TP. Amazing stuff. Amazing stuff by Benzo. GG. Well played, absolutely lovely game with the AMX 30B. And uh, yeah, if I didn't say it already, I will leave all of Benso's, uh, you know, social media, Twitch, YouTube, everything in the comments down below. So go give them a follow, give them a, a subscribe on YouTube, or to whatever it's called on Twitter, Instagram, whatever socials they have. I will leave every single one in the comments, in the comments, in the description down below. So go and follow so on all socials to get some more lovely games like this maybe even live right <laughs> but yeah let's see how amazing this game was in the post game stats real quick there we go easy ace tanker for the 1759 base experience earned over here actually getting the second mark of excellence gg well played congratulations benzo um hopefully you got the third mark already right with this type of gameplay you've definitely got it in like a few battles afterwards um, but yeah, a few ribbons, a Call of Battles medal for standing alone against at least five vehicles, and emerging victorious, a Bradley Walters for the eight kills over here. High caliber. 11,049 damage. Obviously, it's going to be a high caliber, a tank sniper, for causing the highest damage per battle from a distance of more than 300 meters, and a top gun for at least six kills, and just 1,000 damage. It's, it's ridiculous. Uh, 43 shots fired, 37 of those hit. A lot of that was from long range, that's good marksmanship uh, by Benz over there. 30 of those penetrated. I mean, when you fire at long range with heat that doesn't have good shell velocity, you did, like you won't be penetrating a lot of shells, but penetrating 30 shells at those ranges is actually ridiculous. So GG, well played. Nice marksmanship by Benzo over here. Um, 11,049 damage, like we said, 7,150 from a distance of more than 300 meters. Like, if you get 7,000 damage in a regular battle, it's awesome, right? It's an amazing battle. So, that was only from 300 meters or more. <laughs> okay, six is received, four of those penetrated, two did not. Like I said, this vehicle can bounce from time to time with a turret, but you do have the huge cupola uh, that will be penetrated every single time. You do have the very weak side armor, and the hull itself is not the strongest. It is angled pretty nicely, but... Uh, the turret is the one that can bounce from time to time. I wouldn't really rely on this vehicle's armor too much, but you can you can bounce on occasion. Um, 770 damage blocked by the armor. Three vehicles spotted, 10 damaged. Eight of those were subsequently destroyed by Benzo over here. With 874 damage caused due to the player's assistance, driving just over 5.5 kilometers, needing to go from west to east, from east to south, from south to west. That's just like driving around to find the best position. Um, losing quite a bit of credits. I mean, a lot of gold was fired, right? Those heat rounds were used uh, very generously. Then say like that. Losing 74,000 with a premium consumable as well, though. So, yeah. A very, very big loss of credits. But, I mean, you don't really mind losing that amount of credits when you get such a lovely result, right? With 2,639 experience earned, 132 free XP in this 13 minute 54 second battle. And uh, yeah, Benzo GG, amazing game, absolutely lovely stuff, just going where you needed to be, using the mechanics as they needed to be used, not like I told you to do earlier, <laughs> oh no, um, but yeah, amazing stuff, GG, well played, like I said earlier, I will link all of uh, the socials of Benzo in the description down below, so go and check those out, and yeah. This is it for this video, so let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the 30B? Do you actually play this vehicle? Like, do you have it in your garage even? Did you know it exists? 
did you know collectors' vehicles actually exist, or is it something that is so like at the side that people don't even care about? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions on the vehicle, on collectors' vehicles. Um, and yeah, as usual, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Stay safe, and hopefully, I will see you all in the next video. Tell people have a good one.